So some of you, and again, uh, in your shape tonight, you know, we really believe by controlling our posture, we can control the opponent. So we talk about two shape, right? And the idea here is from the posture, we can control the opponent. So you'll notice the machine gun is always straight back. And the idea is if you lean back, it's weak. If you lean forward, it's weak. You have to get it straight. So who's heard the sentence that uh, from the founder of Aikido, Mishin Hosen, say that Budo is like walking? Has anyone ever heard that? Right? So you don't walk this way, and you don't walk this way. Once or twice, I've been known to walk this way. <laughs> but when you walk, you walk normally. Say stop now. Stop. Shoulder width is the mic. Right? And everything is straight. Shoulders are down. Uh, it's a Japanese expression. It's called wakiyoshimeru. That means close your side. So your lats actually pull your shoulders down and back. You didn't know I do that, didn't you? Right? And then if you want, you can do funky stuff with med. And just by stretch straight, and we say walk Yoshimeru, then you can move. You don't have to use any cross. So once you get that strong center line in your body, it's very powerful. Alright? And first of all, Right, it's very interesting. From here, it's very interesting. Now, when he looks down, he breaks his line. Two fingers. He's strong. Move down. Still two fingers. <coughs> That's not very powerful. If you're getting attacked by someone with only two fingers, you're in big trouble. <laughs> if you're in Kamai, it's straight and strong, so from here, now, it's very strong. And the moment, this So straight ahead, forget about him, feel free to breathe. It's a little known secret in martial arts that if you don't breathe, you die. <laughs> oh, you have to breathe. How's that feel? Can you sing Lady Gaga songs? Try it back. Right, so make sure you don't look down. If you do look down, I have what's called the Aikido Yoshinkai Burn B Don't Look Down Fixer thingy. You want to see it? Okay, come on, move Strong because of that. 
So inside those six basic movements, we have three principles, moving forward, pivoting, and shifting. And most people, if you go watch on YouTube, you can see uh, people pivoting around. And that's kind of integral to IQ. And we'll start some pivoting so you can get used to it. See the HG members, what's the most important thing when you pivot? She forgot, everyone's saying, that's right. Do not lose your front foot when you pivot. If you move your front foot when you pivot, what happens? I kill something. You get killed. Or when I say with my kids, if you move your front foot when you pivot, they hit fast, a bunny dies. But kids don't die. <laughs> it's really important from here, when you move your front foot, it doesn't move. Alright? Everybody stand up. Oh, and what I like, just everybody put your, we'll start to put your left foot forward. Alright? So, oh, basically on the count of one, Kamai is 60-40. Then on the count of two, you pivot wide and low down to 80-20. Then on the count of two, you cross step back and you pull your front foot back when you're cross stepping back. So your weight stays forward even though you're moving backwards. Alright? It's called Hyakohachi Judo Kaiten. Ready? Itch. Hey. Again, make sure when you cross it back, you must pull your front foot back. I will show you why later. Itch. Oh, I see some people looking down. Hey. Itch. Hey! Itch! That's good, Chris. Very nice. Hey! Again, make sure the feeling when you do the pivot, it has to be with power. So as you turn, boom, send your energy forward and keep it forward as you cross step back. Itch! Hey!
fighting is easy. They attack, they break their neck. You don't do Ikajo or Nikyo or Sankyo. You guys say Ikyo, Nikyo, or Sankyo, right? We say Ikajo, Nikajo, Sankyo because we do it better. Oh, did I say that again? That's all right. Is that on camera too? That's yes. okay. Uh, does anyone know why in Yoshikan we say Ikajo, Nikajo, you say Ikyo, Nikyo? Kozo Shiro and Kacho says it said, because of the great respect he had kind of blessed him to start his own style, he kept the same terms that he learned from him. That's why we do it differently. All right? And again, they're, they're not going to, those, I don't know how it sounds, but almost I think those Ikkyo, Nikkyo, Sankyo, they're not Aikido. They're tools we use to teach what is Aikido, that connection to the opponent, right? So whether it's harmonized movement or it's harmonized and they kill them, it's still harmonized. So for our training, we keep our hips square a so we learn our strong balance point, and it makes it easier then to study some principles in Yoshin Kanaiki, one of the most important principles is called Jushin Mai. Jushin Mai means weight forward. If your weight's in the center, you can't move. You can move, of course, with a sword or a punch. That's why when the corrupted people punch their the weight's in the center, because they don't have to throw. Or sword people, the weight's in the center because the sword does all the work. We have to figure out how to throw. So for example, this one. This one. Uh, that's a very good okay. Turn up. So from here, Chris is going to throw Matt now. He's going to shuffle forward. Go ahead.
separate moves. So from this strength you pivot, I'd like you to go to practice what's called shoulder and cheek. You got to go side knee. Alright? And it's standard. Does anyone here have a baseball bat? Yeah, here? Alright. If your root gate is fighting and resisting you, get a baseball bat, whack them a couple of times in the back, and that usually softens them up. Alright? Root gate's job is to help stay understand the technique. So you don't resist until I say. Alright? And again, it's going to be different for you guys because you might do it a different way. But I'm wearing the dress usually. But I'm not wearing the dress today. Alright? So what we want, we we'll see. And again, in Yoshin Khan, it's very stylized. Now, if you want later, I'll explain how the teaching system started. But again, from here, it's, I'm on left, Ned's on right, we move in, he strikes, and block. He's still pushing, so I want to practice this pivot and shift. That's all this movement is for. Give it around, down, and he comes right around for me. You finish here. Alright? The idea for combat is now the technique's over. Alright? But we drop the hand to the knee, so we can again practice dropping our hip down and relaxing. If you get this right idea, it's difficult for men to get up because he has to lift my whole 14 stone, no, 10 stone, with his elbow. Right. And then if you get funky and you want to mess that up, you do it like I did this afternoon. Get that out, come out. Two, pivoting, 
And three, it's called du shit ido, shifting. If you get it quite right, and you have a very good uke, it feels really nice, doesn't it? And it's kind of like right to the ground. But it's a way we can learn to practice the, uh, the shift and the movement. You can always make a big movement smaller. You understand what I mean? Right? But it's really hard to make a small movement bigger. And again, like I said, these movements are designed to teach us how to get rid of tension. And then in one day, maybe, you start to understand that the real power from Aikido comes from the mind and body working together. If you use your arms, that is good when you're young and strong. Right? Because there's very few people that get quite old and they still have a lot of arm strength. You should see me do push-ups. And I know I look very young, but actually I'm pretty old. Right? I'm 55. The guys I see that are really strong and I can when they're set up high, the power has to come from your body. Right? And if it's difficult to do the pivot, that's just the way it is. You have to keep practicing. Right? <coughs> Which, again, is why UK helps with the technique so you don't feel you're dragging a big sack of potatoes around. You understand what I mean? So, from here, again, he strikes. I'm using the It's very good. You might have a Yoshin Kanga. Alright? So, the idea from here is. Again, it's opposite, doesn't matter. He can cross step strike, I cross step block. But again, for beginners, it's difficult. So we set it up here, so he strikes, I block. He's still pushing, so as I move, he's gonna come around. And it's right here. Then, I make a connection. Left hand, left knee, left hip, center line, everything goes together. Just and then the knee's in the armpit. And then it's just here. So everything moves together. He has to lift my whole body weight with his elbow. And I'm not using anything. How's that feel? Good, that's what we want. Right? And like I said, then you can do what I did to that. And you don't have to be immovable, but I'm not doing anything. How's it feel? How's it feel? Alright? That's what these techniques are designed for. Alright? Because realistically, for fighting, I won't do it, but the idea of when that strikes, you just <coughs> break the neck, slam his head down into the ground. So who wants to train with someone who's trying to break your neck? Raise your hand. Nobody. Oh, you're not sure. No. That's not an idea. There's a potential for danger, the potential for abuse in Aikido is great. Because he's not supposed to resist me. Right? So you can start thinking you're really strong. Those of you who know me well, I am a boxing fanatic. I don't do it anymore because I'm old and getting hit in the head is not too good for you. If you hit someone and they fall down, you say sorry, 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 but inside, like that. But when they hit you and you fall down, that really sucks. Alright? And I've been in both hands. So the idea here is to help with me so we don't try to kill each other. Except if I don't throw that hard, he'll go home and salt. So I have to hit him hard. So once you understand that, it doesn't matter. From that shoulder that you block, it pulls! It pulls your elbows. Or it But again, for boxing, I can hit you, you can't hit me. You have to go like that. Who's going to win? Alright? So I think it's really important when we train this way, then you can understand the power. And then, just as you touch, you can do Shonu Chika no Saini without moving. Alright? It's very cool. Just from here. It's very powerful.
grow harder and harder because they learn how to lubricate to protect themselves. And then one day, you put them right between the cracks of the mat. And they get up and they say, that was great. If you do that, your IQ will go to a whole new level. And you can't do that if you're hurting people with smashing and using muscle. That's what these techniques teach us. Okay? Let's take a little quick water break and then we'll continue. Okay, Chris has asked me to put the guy sheet. And what I like to say to the, the technique, what I like you to think about is he understands a lot more now. I hope you really understand it now. What I'd like you to think about, Kote Gaishi, when you write the Japanese characters, Kote Gaishi. Ko means small, K means hand, Gaishi means to turn. And again, it's nothing to do with pain compliance. If you twist and get kind of straight here, move it up to here, like I see some forms of might you don't do, it's okay as long as you get just along for the ride. But if I'm this way, you really should beat me in the head. What we want to do is keep the hand relaxed. Now it's interesting to move your arm around. Like that heart, it starts moving in your heart. So you grab it soft. Like now he doesn't know when it oh. is coming. And then you can turn it over. So I'd like you first to try that nice and easy. And even one hand is oh. very interesting. Alright? I think it's time. Called in the Zoltan story. What's this? I got lots of stories, but this is called the Zoltan story, so cross your legs if you like. Alright? I have one student, he's named is Zoltan. If you can imagine, it's just like it sounds. I'm Zoltan. Have you ever done? Must kill. Must kill. I'm Zoltan. My daughter was training. She trained from the time she was five until she was 11. And now she does dance. So don't let her do dance, right? Because they only defect. But she's a wonderful, fabulous dancer. And she does jazz, ballet, tap, and hip hop. She is naturally talented in dance. But some of her friends graduated from the adult class to the kids class. I mean, from the kids class to the adult class. And she wanted to try training with her friends. And she was 10. And I thought, OK. So we did the same technique that we were just doing. Shomenuchi Ikajo Osai Ni, and my daughter, who's 10, who's half Japanese, and oh my god, is she gorgeous? That's great. Oh yes. She's gorgeous. Her partner was Fupa. And she knew, even though she was 10, she knew she sent his daughter. So I was so proud of her, I almost cried, because she was facing this. Voltan. That's Voltan. She's facing Voltan, and she's like this. But she knows she's his daughter. I know my heart was pounding. I was so proud of her. I almost cried. The best part was Zolta. I am Zolta. Martial arts must kill. You can see it. Oh my God! I got such a daughter. If I hurt her, he's gonna kill me. Oh my God! I don't know what to do. So he did the technique. He just went. I killed him anyways. <laughs> Very interesting. So I'd like you to do the Kotegashi now and pretend you're Zoltan. Can't move. But I call her Poopy, but better edit that from the camera. Yes? This is going to be bad if she's 18 and you're her first boyfriend. How long do you know Poopy? <laughs> yeah. It's nice and easy. And if you resist, hey! Elbow. There. Using your body power. 
Straight face and smiling, and that's what we want. And again, from this basic technique, the idea is moving, so I break his balance, then I can shift, turn, get the weight forward, pull it over, and over and down. Yeah. Oh. Right. So we make sure, lock the shoulder, and the elbow, and then the control oh. down there. Alright? So that's the idea of the basic technique. So we're going to try now a little bit of a variation. So I need you to try. Same idea of the Meshi, we're just hooking the wrist. Okay, just try that. Don't get tense and try to have it here. Just there. And relax. Questions? Okay, we've got Nick, Nick and Neil making it up. Is there any feeling? Yeah. Right? And again, these basic techniques are designed to teach us how to use our whole body and arms together. Easy, don't be. Last thing I have to say, look easy. 
Leave with easy. Go ahead. It's really hard. Go ahead. It's really hard. Again, you have to breathe. Alright? But that's the idea. Go ahead and try. Good luck. Good luck.